When Jennifer Rodriguez accepted a legal assistant position in January 2017, her employers were initially unaware of a significant detail. After only 10 days on the job, Rodriguez decided to reveal that she was eight months pregnant. Unfortunately, the law firm promptly terminated her employment. Undeterred, Rodriguez sought justice for herself and her unborn child. The Bendinelli Law Firm, located in Denver, Colorado, was in search of a legal assistant, and Rodriguez appeared to be an excellent fit for the role. In fact, she was hired due to her qualifications. However, there was an aspect of her life that had not surfaced during the hiring process. Just over a week into her new job, Rodriguez believed it was time to share her pregnancy, as it was quite evident, given that she was in her third trimester, with only about a month left until her due date. She initially confided in a colleague at the firm, who then conveyed the news to one of the firm's founding members. Subsequently, Rodriguez found herself facing a series of unexpected and intrusive questions about her pregnancy. The law firm inquired whether she had encountered any complications with her pregnancy, which seemed reasonable to determine if she might require medical leave. However, the questions took a personal turn when they asked whether she intended to keep the baby or if she was carrying it for someone else. These questions left Rodriguez puzzled and uncomfortable. To her surprise, the very next day, Rodriguez was informed that her services were no longer needed and she was terminated from her position as a legal assistant. She had started her job on January 30, 2017, and just 10... Marco Bendinelli, the proprietor of the law firm, vehemently insisted that Rodriguez's pregnancy was not the cause of her termination. In an interview with Fox 31, when asked why her employment was terminated abruptly, he cited job performance and her alleged lack of transparency about her circumstances as reasons for her dismissal. Ben Dinelli, however, declined to provide specific details and refuted Rodriguez's account of the events leading up to her firing, including the questions regarding her pregnancy and any related complications. When questioned about regrets regarding her termination, Ben Dinelli acknowledged regret based on the consequences he faced but vehemently denied that the law firm had an anti-pregnancy stance. As part of the settlement, the law firm agreed to pay Rodriguez $30,000 although it did not reinstate her employment. This financial compensation will provide some support for her one-year-old son, Jay. Rodriguez considers this settlement a form of justice in her case and hopes that her victory will inspire others facing workplace discrimination to seek justice for themselves. Carl Tetzlaff, who represented the EEOC in Denver and served as Rodriguez's attorney, praised her for coming forward and seeking legal redress. He noted that cases of this nature are unfortunately common, but not enough individuals file charges with the EEOC to address workplace discrimination effectively.